I'm Marcel Fontenot and this is a look at headlines from the KTC newsroom for this Monday, November 30th. The Youngsville Police Department headquarters closed for the remainder of the week after an outbreak of COVID-19 cases. The department reports two thirds of the administrative staff tested positive last week. They say none of its police officers have been affected. If you have an emergency in the city of Youngsville, you are urged to call 911. Well, with many Americans disregarding government warnings to avoid traveling and gathering for Thanksgiving, officials are worried about another explosion in COVID-19 cases. Tonight, the coordinator of the White House Coronavirus Task Force has this warning. So if you're young and you gathered, you need to be tested about five to 10 days later, but you need to assume that you're infected and not go near your grandparents and aunts and others without a mask. And if you're over 65 or you have comorbidities and you gathered at Thanksgiving, if you develop any symptoms, you need to be tested immediately. Well, new developments tonight out of St. Martin Parish, where the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries and property owners along Lake Martin have reached an interim agreement to keep access, public access to the lake open. Attorney General Jeff Landry says the agreement came about after LDWF committed to address the landowners concerns about the safety and maintenance of the boat launch and parking as well. Well, Lake Martin, Rob, not a place people are going to be in the next day or so as we deal with these freezing temperatures. Yeah, it's a little bit of a winter chill out there and the Gators are laying low for sure. Temperature wise tonight, well, we're heading for the freezing mark through Tuesday morning. Shouldn't be a pipe buster, but certainly the first freeze of the season. That's why we have a freeze warning in effect for Acadiana. Temperatures by morning, mid to upper 20s. Northernmost parishes of the area will favor upper 20s to near 30 along the I-10 corridor and lower 30s down along the coast. So certainly need to take care of the plants and pets. Don't need to worry about the pipes. However, I think we're going to be above that mark and then warming up nicely for tomorrow afternoon with lots of sunshine. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 50s. So here we have our frosty start Tuesday and then as we go down the road, a breezy Wednesday clouds coming back with rain chances late Wednesday into Wednesday night. Lingering clouds Thursday temperatures holding in the 50s for highs and overnight lows 40s eventually down into the 30s and the weekend looking good with partly cloudy skies plenty of high clouds but cool temperatures and they're going to continue into much of next week as well that's it for weather and news we're going to have more coming up in just a little bit